Hello everybody, my name is Luis and let's create our first plugin part 2. In this video, in the last video, we create uh, our solution and send everything to the GitHub and now we're gonna create a simple application uh, and talk about the Revit API and some features related. So let's go. First, I have in here in the Revit folder, I have the app.cs that have the iInternal application that is responsible to create and remove the, this panel. So here I have the startup when this application starts and when the application shut down. So when the application starts, we create this, this panel with this name. I can change the name and build again. So we're gonna update that in my Revit, really cool. And when the application finish, I'm gonna remove that, uh, that, that, that that ribbon that that panel so uh i can create another push button in that panel like this and create like let's create with without the name i uh, like create like this gonna update that as well uh other thing that the external application is used uh is to create some events and some specific events in Revit, like when a document open or something changing the document or other features related we can uh show some events in the i external application like uh when a view changes or other stuff like that but this is for a next video let's create a really simple uh command to to change all the walls in my document so uh let's change this to my first first again and let's put something like walls here after that i change the everything so let's go in my commands this command i gonna do some stuff in here first uh when i click in that push button you're gonna execute these commands and gonna i can do some stuff like change the walls but first i need to uh, select the document that is open in my Revit. so to do that i need to find the document in the y document so i can create something like this doc equal uh, y application and uh, y active y document and then document so i can select the document or i can use a snippet and do that for me if i if you install the app loader you're gonna have some snippets installed in your visual studio 2022 so if i press r and d doc and press uh, tab gonna create that snippet for me so i have the same thing right away so uh, i have the documents and then i need to select the elements in my documents i could uh, give the options to the user to select that but i'm gonna select everything so has a filter for that is the filter red i yeah i, ha I have a snippet for that so rfce so the filter element collector so we're gonna create the basic filter filter so he need the document and i'm gonna select all the elements in my document so i need to filter to only select the walls so i need to change here to the wall to the wall type and after that uh in this case I'm gonna select the walls and the walls type because in have we have two types uh of walls we have the type uh, the type element and the element so we need to filter that only to select the elements so uh, in here we have a, a wire, a wire element filter. Like this, I need to select the wire element is not element type. So I'm gonna select only the the walls, not the walls type. So let's change the name of this and create a, a for each. And I'm gonna put the walls in here and the wall in here. And let's show in my console what the name of the walls in my project so let's put something like this i use a snippet for that like c cw w i guess yeah and uh type so gonna appear to me so oh boy let's build again and let's click in here and gonna show in my console the name of my wall i can change in this one to this type actually just to create a different one so if I press in here, actually, I'm gonna appear in there. To show this, uh, we're gonna need to open in here in the app loader. 
can open and close that so like so and i was using a shortcut actually to execute this comment so if i go in the uploader i can click in the application loader it's gonna appear my application that i i create last like in the last video so have the command in here if i double click in here it's gonna execute that command in and gonna show what the command does so and after that i can press uh, a shortcut in my rabbit uh, is the number one if i press number one gonna execute that command as well so really cool you can check in here in the faceless stuff basically when i click in here I'm gonna execute the last command in my application loader so yeah that's how it works and uh, in here i can create a new command as well if i want i have a snippet for that our our command and let's change another name like two and gonna build that and gonna appear in my application loader here i can execute that if i want but gonna i don't need that at the moment let's delete this and uh, build again so uh i select all the walls all the four walls in my document and what i'm gonna do with that uh let's comment this and let's uh Let's select a parameter, a comment parameter, and uh, write something in there. Like the name of the wall is just gonna be, be really simple. Uh, to do that, I need to select the walls, the wall, and get the parameter. I have a snippet for that. I have a snippet for a lot of things. Our parameter, parameter, and gonna create a simple snippet wall in here. And I'm gonna select the parameter. Uh, with the all models instance comments and gonna write or set the comments in that. So uh, let's build again. And let's set, check it out. What's going on? If I click in here, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do uh, a thing that's really important. Uh, it's really common error to, to, to appear is the modification outside transaction. Yeah. Every time you change something in the document or in some document, you need to open a transaction to say to Revit, yeah, I'm doing some change, so take a look. Yeah, basically that. Uh, we need to create a transaction. So uh, the easiest way, I have a snippet for that. Our F, our, no, our, forget the T, our T, yeah, our transaction here. I'm uh, gonna create my transaction in the document and Here's the name of the transaction. I can move that to here to put everything inside that. So when the transaction starts with this name, I can change the name like change walls comments, something like this. And I'm gonna change all the walls in my project and gonna commit and gonna say, yes, everything I change is okay. Or I can roll back if I want, of course, that's a rollback or no, everything I changed, no, don't do that. Don't apply in the document. Basically, that's what it does. Yeah, uh, now I'm gonna build again and I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna work fine. So if I click in my wall, I have the comments in here. Great, work fine. Great, great job. Uh, but I want to change by the name. Let's copy this and put in here, yeah. And let's close this. Uh, Let's let's put then the comments in there as well. The console. Yes. Let's build again. And if I click in here, everything changed. If I go in here, this is the name of my 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 wall. If I change here to this one and click in there again, I'm gonna update that. Really cool. Everything works. Yeah. So great. Uh, yeah. Other thing is good to do is after change everything after do the job. We can say to the user, hey, uh, we do this in how many walls or something. So let's do that. I can use this message box. I'm going to use that. It's going to be easier. But we can use the task dialog is actually use is similar, but I'm going to use that. Uh, let's put in here something like this. I can sneak some, some numbers there. Uh, Change comment in put in here walls something like this 
something like this. Let's select the walls in here and put in here like font. Yeah, something like this is gonna work fine. Uh, and if I click in here, you're gonna say uh, change comments in for wall. Yeah, that's that's cool. And other thing it's nice to show is here. Uh, here in the transaction, the name of the transaction I put in there is this one, right? If I, I can roll back, of course, you're inside rev. So I change the walls in the comments in this, like we create in your plugin. So that's great. Uh, after that, I have my base comment work fine. Uh, let's go in my application to sneak some comments and stuff. Uh, the name of my panel gonna be my first, gonna work fine. Uh, the name of the comments gonna be um, uh, walls, gonna put something like this. Uh, change. Something like this, gonna work. Yeah. And I'm gonna put uh, a tooltip as well. Set tip like change our walls comments to wall name something like this gonna gonna be the trick yeah they go in here and put my mouse in there and you're gonna show my text my tooltip so and other thing i can do too as well is the help help use some help i'm gonna put my website in here H a dot account.com something like that if the user press f1 in, in the button you're gonna open my website or you can add a, a help or stuff related to that comment but that's gonna work fine in this uh in this video but let's uh everything is finished and let's go in my let's deploy this let's Push this to my GitHub. So uh, first, let's go in my change log. Let's change the dates. The dates like like this. This this one uh, gonna be first release. Gonna be fine. I'm not gonna first release and uh, and walls a comma. Command something really basic like this gonna today's one yeah something basic like this gonna work fine. Uh, other thing I need to change is here my my application is designed to Revit 21, 22, and 23 yeah, and I gonna change in here to 21 and this one to 21 as well just to show uh really fine in there. Uh, here is the installation. After that, we're gonna publish in the next video how to create our installation. And let's push this. Uh, create com walls comments. Something like this is gonna work fine. Let's push this. Let's sync that. And let's go in our GitHub. I'm gonna show a thing really, really quick. Uh, let's finish that. Let's wait a little bit. Come on. Yeah, and it's done. Let's go up in my GitHub and let's move that to here and let's move that to here. Yeah, in my GitHub, everything is already set up to my solution already set up to create some uh, workflows. So, uh, and every time I send something to there, you're gonna build that project to check if it has some errors or not to all the solutions, yeah, and we're gonna talk about in the next video, about our everything like this, and gonna build that for me, and if you're at a horse, you're gonna show that, and, and gonna, if everything is great, you're gonna build this, this solution and everything, so uh, stay tuned for the next video, see ya!